steal it in the first quarter. Eugene Omarui. First minutes, J Dub, his corner three. Averaging almost 19 points per game. Play Sonic Slam tonight for a chance to tell Toronto just 20 points in the first. Barnes using his big body, but Omarui able to body him up. Offensive rebound inside by Young, and he'll get free throws. And the double team came early. Oh, nice pass underneath. Kenridge caught amongst the trees on the turnaround. Toronto, Banton's going to get it off, but away off target. And so to all their families, too, that have made the sacrifice along with them. And right over the timeout, Jada. Sets up another alley-oop for Omarui. Makes it 31-29. There is just so much length, and it's not a problem this time. Raptors over as well. Turnovers plenty here in this first half. Omarui. A blue player as well. It just shows you how a lot of times the consistency between... Seamless step up to the big league squad. Nice pass underneath. Kenridge caught right through the defense, but it was set up off that J-Dub drive. Delano Banton just taking the offense initiative. And speaking of taking the initiative, it's Josh Giddy. As he was streaking across the baseline. Man corner three, lets it go. And an offensive rebound by Kenridge inside. He was streaking across the baseline. Man, corner three, lets it go. And an offensive rebound by Kenrich inside. Really great to see the team actually execute on that so early in the season, be able to get that attitude into the game in terms of crashing the glass from all five spots. In particular, the Thunder's bench unit has been very good on the offensive glass. Certainly brings the juice. He's an aggressive player offensively, and this is really his pseudo rookie here. You have to remember he didn't play the end of season, a season ending injury that forced him to sit out. And so he's really taking in and making the most of every minute he has on the floor, both with the Thunder and with the I was looking the other way. Brought it back and took the shot. Wiggins getting his fourth start of the season. There's a drive, but I was looking the other way. Brought it back and took the shot. Wiggins getting his fourth start of the season. There's a drive, but and a third opportunity here for OKC as the ball swings down to Williams. The cut by Wiggins is he will finger roll it right in. State, he's an Aztec, and the other Aztec in the building, guess what? It's yours truly. How about this, man? This guy, you know, at seven feet tall. He was not strong with the basketball when he first came into the league. Oftentimes not taken away. The Thunder with a strong possession set up by the drive from Wiggins. Pressure the basketball well beyond the perimeter. Almost got the steal. J-Dub got it by. Sets it up. Kenrich Williams flushes it down. He, he had, you know, he was handed off to another defender and still made a play. And to Hernan Gomez is foul. They're going to set themselves up well here in the fourth quarter. And plays like that. That's a beautiful give and go. Wiggins gave it right back to Jada. Just a real concerted effort on the offensive end. Just a real concerted effort on the offensive end. So it's an 18-point game, Michael. How did the Thunder maintain this lead? Right there. He's got enough. It's three on two momentarily. Kenrich sees himself open. OKC's had one of those, and they were actually able to sweep their opponent. Here's Boucher. Wiggins will step into it from downtown and knock it down. The problem was is he was already heading down the other direction. <laughs> he was pointing one direction while he was walking the other direction. <laughs> yeah, kind of told on himself, didn't he? A little bit. <laughs> Got to stay, stay put. Yeah. Here he is. Little stutter step. Oh, what a move. Got right at bang. The rookie showing some skill tonight. See, just the ball movement. Never staying in one place very long. Wiggins able to save it. They have really clamped down and done some good things against this Toronto team coming in here with a 7-5, 7-5 record. 
See the defense collapse on j and it leads to a wide open three from Trey Mann who drills it from the outside. And their hustle out here has been really fabulous. They're just not giving up. And, and right now, you know, they're, they're just piling it on. And in all likelihood, when a team's got a double-digit lead, there's going to be another run. And games will tighten up, but that just has not been the case because the Thunder have been so efficient on the offensive end. It's completely taken Toronto out of its game. Emirates State, basically Canada's version of Veterans Day. And rightfully so. Another Toronto turnover creates the odd man rush. Jada. And rightfully so. Another Toronto turnover creates the odd man rush. Jada not to be slowed down as he elevates for the jam. Thunder both in the game up here in the latter part of this fourth quarter. But they've done it the way they've been doing it for the past, you know, what, three and a half quarters? Coach puts you in the game, call your number. You just don't know how much time you're going to get. Got a career high 19, looking to add an assist. Toronto went 48 and 34 a season ago. They got into the postseason. They're, they're high scoring. They average about 11, 111 a game. It's going to be an offensive foul. J Dub, little extension. They're, they're high scoring. They average about 11, 111 a game. It's going to be an offensive foul. J Dub, little extension. Your leading score is all, you know, almost your leading score at 19 points on the Rui. Shea has 20. He makes this shot. He will be the leading scorer off the bench.